Hello everyone, it's Jordan. Today I have a recipe video for you. I made three recipes all using my toaster oven. Of course, these recipes are completely plant-based and they are all gluten-free and have grain-free options. I love using my toaster oven in the winter because I'm so tempted to have my oven on all the time, roasting things and cooking things up, but our ovens take up a lot of electricity, a lot of energy, and it's always great to have a more efficient alternative that kind of does the same thing. And you can get a really good quality toaster oven that comes with a convection oven setting and like a broil setting and a toast setting for under 50 bucks at like Target or any other place that you can buy small kitchen appliances. We got ours last year for Christmas and I never thought that I needed a toaster oven until I had one and I was like, wow, this rocks. I'll link the one that I use down below. That is all I need to say, so let's get to cooking. Making the perfect sweet potato toast sweet potato toast, that's really hard to say. Making the perfect sweet potato toast starts with the right sweet potato. You need to start with a big fat one and it's a lot easier to cut into these small half inch thick pieces. So once you've cut your sweet potato into two slices, go ahead and place it in the toaster oven and you're gonna set your toaster oven for about 10 minutes per side. So once the first 10 minutes are up, you're just gonna flip them over. They should be just starting to get slightly brown on the inside, but they won't still be tender yet. So just flip them over and do another side for 10 minutes. Now they're going to be nice and golden brown on the outsides, but tender on the insides, a little bit crispy around the edges. Perfect toast, in my opinion. And I like to top my sweet potato toast two ways. So I like to do a basic avocado toast. So just mash up some avocado. Today I had this really pretty watermelon radish that I just layered across the top and added a little bit of sea salt and some cracked black pepper, as well as a squeeze of lemon. The second topping is going to be some hummus, and today I'm actually using more of a baba ganoush. This is an eggplant hummus that I love from the store. It's by the brand Fountain of Health. If you can find it, I highly recommend it. So I just spread that all over the top and layered on some Mizuna greens, which are just a really mild, easy to eat green, kind of like a baby romaine. And there we have it, my sweet potato toast two ways. If I could pick a third way, I would top it with some peanut butter and some jam. That is also delicious. Start by making the pumpkin cheesy sauce. So you're gonna start by adding just some plain canned pumpkin, about a half a cup, but I'll have all the exact measurements down below, some salt and some pepper and a generous amount, about a teaspoon of garlic powder and about another three-fourths of a teaspoon of onion powder. These spices all together just give it that really cheesy, savory flavor. I added a pinch of cayenne for some spiciness, but you could leave that out. And then of course some nutritional yeast to bring the cheesy flavor. Then you're just gonna mix all of that up so that it's all combined. And then we'll just set that aside. Oh yeah, I added some more nutritional yeast because nutritional yeast. Now grab your favorite kind of tortilla. I recommend a gluten-free tortilla or a sprouted flour tortilla, anything whole grained and delicious. And on one side, we're just gonna spread on some fat-free refried beans. You can find whatever kind of refried beans you like, black refried beans, any kind. This is just gonna help bind everything together along with the pumpkin cheesy sauce. And we'll just layer that on the other side. You could also fill this quesadilla with some peppers, onions, corn, mushrooms, any other kind of yummy veggie, or even like some vegan chicken, vegan ground meat, anything you like would be so good. Now here is me, whoop, I made it, <laughs> hoping that I got the quesadilla tortilla on top. 
you'll just put your quesadilla right on the grate and close it up and I left it on the toast setting and I set it for about five minutes or right about the spot where the dark piece of toast is on the toaster oven so if you wanted like a dark toast and this was perfect and I love it because it cooks it from the top and the bottom so both tortillas get nice and crispy then you're just gonna cut it up into wedges and I sprinkled mine with some herbs and some salsa this was so good you guys even my husband Jack loved it so easy and it's so good for you For the filling, we need some thawed spinach. I just thawed mine in the microwave, a pinch of salt and pepper, and of course some garlic powder, and some dry basil. If you have fresh basil, I highly recommend it, but I didn't today, so I went for some dried basil. I did have some fresh thyme on hand, so I put that in there, but you could definitely use dry thyme. Then you're just going to grab your favorite jar of marinara sauce. Mine happened to be a portabella marinara sauce, which just went really well, really reinforced the mushroom flavor, but just use your favorite jarred marinara and just mix that all together so all the herbs and spices are combined. Then you're going to fold in some tofu ricotta. This is a super easy and delicious way to spice up some tofu, make it into some ricotta-like cheese. I will leave the recipe down below in the description, but it's literally just three ingredients. And just mix that all together, fold the tofu into the spinach so it's nice and combined. Then you're gonna take your two portobello mushroom caps. I just wiped the top off with a wet paper towel and scooped the gills out of the side to prep them. And I spread a little bit more of the sauce on the bottom. This is optional, you don't have to do this. I just thought it would help the filling kind of stick and melt down into the mushroom. So then just go ahead and fill your mushroom up and then we're gonna sprinkle on some gluten-free breadcrumbs on the top so that we get a nice crunchy toasted top. And then of course some nutritional yeast which is kind of like taking the place of Parmesan cheese in this recipe gives it a nice cheesy salty savory bite to the top and then this part is also optional I added a spritz of cooking oil to the top just so the topping would get nice and golden brown but you could definitely skip this step and just slide that into your toaster oven. I put mine on a sheet of parchment paper just to make cleanup super easy. Set it to convection oven and I kept mine at about 450 and this is just gonna cook in 15 minutes. After 15 minutes are up, I let mine sit in the toaster oven for about five minutes just so all the flavors could kind of come together. As you can see, it was nice and bubbly and steaming and hot, it smelled amazing i was so happy with the way this recipe turned out if you like mushrooms and you like italian food you're going to love this this would also be delicious on top of just some plain pasta or some rice or some couscous but on its own it's a delicious gluten-free could be grain free without the breadcrumbs option Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. Let me know what you like to make in the toaster or the toaster oven down below in the comments. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you soon for another video. Bye. Jackson. Did you wanna say bye? Say bye. Oh, good boy. Bye. Hi. <laughs> Someone's ready for a walk. Yeah, you heard that. <laughs> Bye.